Kidiak, the number four seed from Indonesia, up against the former champion, the number five seed, Peter Gaeta from Denmark. Two of the biggest names in the sport, Hidayat and Gera. Tanfik Hidayat, the 28-year-old from Bandung. World ranking has just gone up to number three, although he's seeded four here at this year's championships. He's twice been in the final previously, and he's twice lost back in 99 when he was just 17 years of age. Reached the final again a year later in 2000 when he lost out to Sha Xuanzhou of China. Peter Gaida, the veteran, 33 years of age, born in Orborg in Denmark. Winner 11 years ago. Reached the final in 2004 when he lost out to the number one seed Lindan, Lindan, of course, is the holder of the men's singles here. Now, his par three to today's quarterfinal first round victory over Dicky Palyama, the player from the Netherlands who beat the Dane in the first round of the 2007 All England Championships. This time, no problem. 21 17, 21 17. Second round against Simon Santoso of Indonesia the 2009 gold medalist from the Southeast Asian Games. And look at that very, very close opening game. He was 6-12 down in that opening game. He saved a game point at 19-20, but as you can see, he came through 24-22. Second game, 21-18. Taufik Hidiak, well, first round against Hu Yun of Hong Kong. Dropped the opening game there. 21-12 in the decider in 50 minutes of play, and then against England's Andrew Smith. 21-18, 21-14, that match lasting just 32 minutes. So the Indonesian former world and Olympic champion, of course, he won the Olympic Games in Athens in 2004 when unseeded, of course, seem to remember that in 2000 he was the number one seed but lost in the quarter-final stage. Won his world title in Anaheim in 2005. And he has been winning titles since he was 16 years old. My goodness me. 21 career titles, but if you think that's impressive, Peter Gaida, 35 major international titles, including four Super Series titles. Three times a World Championship medalist in Seville in 2001. Lost out to Hendroan of Indonesia. A couple of bronze medals as well. And as I say, two of the big personalities as far as badminton is concerned. Peter Gaida. Can you get ready to play, please? Fourth at the Olympic Games in Sydney. Ian Spear from England. David Martin, the service judge. So Peter Gaida, married man now with two daughters. Two of the biggest names in the sport. Telfik Hidiat, former world and Olympic champion, up against the four-time European champion, Peter Gaida. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Peter Hall Gaida, Denmark. 56 major international titles between them. Oh this should be good. I've been looking forward to this one. These are two of my favourite players, and this has been one of the great rivalries over the last 10 years. 
Both of them great technicians. We'll see lots of variety of shots, lots of holds, deceptions. This should be good. Now, last year these two met each other three times, and it was the Indonesian that won on all three occasions. The last time that Peter Gaida had a victory over Hidiat was in the final of the French Open in 2008. Three tough games it was as well. It was a wonderful match. <laughs> Two players that are real artists of the game. Beautiful to watch, both of them. Absolutely. Any young players looking for technical tips, this is the match to watch. They've both got super techniques. Um, particularly, I think, in this match, we'll see a bit, little bit of a fight. It'll be quite cagey to start with. But I think when it settles down, it'll be who can con get control of the net and get control of the front, front court to win the time in the rear court to, to Two, use the attack. One. to find their form from the onset of this match, are they? Both of them already wonderful shot production, good rallies. Yeah, that's clever. The body smash. So often in singles, we... We Three, think of, of the smash is always going down the side of the court, but so often it's very clever just to mix it up and, and play the body smash. Yeah, we've got two of the great uh, tacticians of the game here, both with bags of experience, lots of titles behind them, and we'll see lots and lots of variety like that, the centre attack, the sudden shock attack down the line. There'll be a lot of variety in this match. the matches yesterday I thought Peter Gaida when he was playing against Simon Santosa I thought he was having real problems using his known angled smashes very very famous for creating wonderful angles but I thought he was having real problems actually putting the shuttle on the floor yeah it, it, it's a difficult Santa match for Santa. Peter that matchup he's had problems Three, with Simon Santosa four. before and I would imagine he was a little bit nervous I think he will have taken confidence from getting through that match in two sets and will probably feel better today. But uh, it's not the easiest hall to attack in. It's not a hall where you can attack flat out the whole time. Just long of the back line, a wonderful spinning net shot from Taufik Hidiat. In, can you just elaborate on that point for us? I mean, why should it make a difference in the arena as to why it's difficult to smash there's a lot of there's a lot of things that uh, go into that calculation there's the the temperature of the hall but the, the height of the hall and the circulation of the air in the hall all has an effect and the players will tell you that uh, on the super series circuit this is one of the slower halls so in the in these conditions you'll see these two players not going for the flat out attack they'll use a lot of variety a lot of changes of pace and angle Control at the front, isn't it? So much in men's singles. I mean, everybody talks about explosive power and big smashes of players like Lin Dan and Lee Chong Wei, the Malaysian. But actually, I think the most important shot in men's singles is the net shot. Controls the rally, sets up the rally. There's the short lift, the opportunity for the win. 
Good commentating, good example. Got it right. Absolutely right. If you can get early on the net and get that.